Okay, and we're back, and Lynx has been compiled, and now we can install it. Make install. That, as you can see, is very quick. So, Lynx is now installed. We can go lynxperl.com. Quickly loads the page. We go down to downloads. We want the latest stable production release stable.tar.gz and we will select download quickly downloads the application Perl is a, a practical ex extraction and reporting language it's uh, designed to allow processing of string information it's very, very handy. It's the administrator's best friend for writing tools to build reports and find patterns and process log files instead of doing it by hand. Okay, we now have stable.tar.gz, so we will extract that. Go into the Perl directory. take a second to extract because that was a 13 megabyte file we downloaded there. Now we can do the install instructions. Sorry, don't have text editor yet. Alright, we can go down quickly and there's the basic setup. So, we will do dot slash configure minus de. This is the same process we just went through with links. We'll go through and find what libraries we have and tell us if there are any that are required that we do not have. And generally profile our system to make Perl perform best on our system. Okay, Perl is now finished compiling. So, we er, sorry, it's only configuring. We have to compile still. So we'll run make, all, install. Let's do the make and the install at the same time. Well, not at the same time, but one after the other save us from uh, having to wait, come back, and type the second command. This is going to take a little bit of time. So, we'll jump back when it's done. <laughs> okay, so now that Perl is installed, we will create a new user. So we'll use the user add command and specify minus m for create user directory. So this will create the user's home directory. And we also want the shell and the real name comment field. And name the user test user. That has created the direct the user now will set the password for test user to be test pass password didn't pass the uh, quality standards, so we will try again. There we go. Used a sufficiently strong password, and now it will work. So now we will switch to a second console and log in as that user. Test user and the password. Now we're in. Now, if, for example, as this user, we try to switch to root, we are not allowed. So, back over here, we will do user mod and set the secondary group to wheel. This will add the user test user into the wheel group. So now if we look at the group file, we can see that it includes the test user. So now, just 
to log out. Log back in. Switch to root. And we're switched over. Now, go back here and we will set a password for the root user. Sorry, typo. There we go. And now when we log in as root this time, we're prompted for the password. And we're in. So that's how you can control who is allowed to use root and who is not. And that's about it for now, so we will shut down the system. Shut down power now. The system will close the programs. halt the system and turn off the power.